This is differences among rap, split line, and projector. We often get questions about what the difference is among these similar features in SOLIDWORKS. And in your own experience, you might have used these features and not noticed any differences. In this video, we will examine the slight differences among the three features and decide when it's best to use each. So the four questions that we'll seek to answer. One, will it truly wrap around a cylindrical face? Two, will the resulting line geometry used split the face into multiple faces? Three, can it utilize an open contour sketch? Four, can it utilize a spherical face? So let's seek to answer those questions. First, I have a part here that is a cylinder and it has a plane right in front of it. I'm going to create a geometry on here and test those different tools. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a geometry, which is going to be the circle onto this plane. Then I'm going to push that geometry onto the cylindrical face. We'll take the geometry and we'll take the face and we'll create the wraparound feature. You can see that with the wraparound that the geometry is truly wrapping around the cylindrical face because it's different from the one that we originally created. Next, let's check to see if it created a resulting face. I'm going to go ahead and click on one face and I can click on another face. So the wrap feature both wraps around the face as well as it splits the face. Let's go ahead and take a look at the split line. Selecting the geometry created as well as the face, let's go ahead and take a look that the split line tool doesn't truly wrap around the face and it simply projects the geometry onto the cylindrical face. And if I take a look, the faces are individually selectable so it does split the face. So it does not truly wrap around the face but it does select faces. But it does split faces. Next, let's take a look at the project curve. Activating the project curve is going to ask me for a sketch. I'll choose the sketch I created as well as the face we're selecting in the, with the cylindrical face and click OK. I, I notice that the project curve doesn't create a truly wraparound face effect as well as the resulting geometry does not split the original face. Next, let's seek to answer the third question, can it use open contour sketches? At the top, I'm going to create another sketch. This time it will be a simple line. And I'll see if this can be simple line. First, let's use the wrap. I immediately get an error saying that the wrap feature cannot be used with intersecting or open contours. So it cannot be, it cannot use open contour sketches. Next we'll try the split line. The split line does work. Next let's take the project curve. The project curve does work with open contour sketches. As it concerns open contour sketches, there is a slight difference between split line and project curve. With the split line tool, I cannot use an open contour sketch that does not reach the entire boundaries of the face. However, I can do that with a project curve. The last question that we'll seek to answer is if the wrap, split line, or project curve can be can utilize the spherical face. In this case, I have a plane at the top of my sphere. I'll go ahead and create another geometry here. It can be a simple circle. And I'll test all three. The wrap, take a look. The wrap cannot use a spherical face. The split line can use a spherical face. And the project curve can use a spherical face. So here are our results.
Those are the slight differences among Raps, Bloodline, and Projector. Thank you for watching.